guys, this is Matt Beck from, <laughs> from freesaloneducation.com and I'm so excited to uh, show you guys something cool that you know I've actually been doing as I cut hair for about 10 years now and it's the scissor technique that I use. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about it. We've done about 68 videos now for you guys. So, uh, you know, it's a question that's come up a lot. And I said that I would show you guys on video if we had 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. Well, it turns out we hit 3,300 today. So I'm really excited. I want to show you guys how I, how I use my scissors to cut hair. I didn't want to do it right away uh, when you guys were asking because I don't think it's the most important thing in hair cutting. So definitely watch our other videos and master the technique of you know body position, hand position, creating different weight, uh, creating structure within a haircut. But you know this, you gotta have some fun too. So let me just show you a couple things. A couple things that I like to work on when I'm cutting hair is uh, cutting with just the one blade. So if you want to look professional cutting hair, then you just want that one blade to move. So if I'm cutting on top of my hands, this blade moves, um, and I just work my way through. A good way to practice this is to take your scissor, I put my ring finger in, and my pinky pushes down on the little uh, pinky tab here, and then I push my other fingers in. So you wanna make sure that the scissor is nice and tight uh, before you even put your thumb into the scissor. Your thumb should not be holding grip on the scissor when you go to cut hair. So this keeps it sturdy. Then all I do is flip my hand around, add my thumb in, and then I can work it up and down this way. Once you got that motion down, it will become a very natural feel for you uh, when you're holding your scissor. The other thing is how comfortable you are with your comb. So here's a little exercise I like to do to work both in my hands. So when I take the scissor, I've got it so I can cut correctly. So no matter what, I'm just moving that one blade. So once you have that down, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna palm my scissor. Um, little funny story with this, when I was uh, first in beauty school, I saw someone do this on stage at a hair show and I thought it looked cool so I went back to beauty school and started practicing. Well, what they were doing and what most hairdressers are going to do that you see is they take their scissor and they toss it back into their hand, catch it with their pinky and hold on to it. Then they grab their comb and they can comb through the hair. What Then what they do is they push it back up into their hand this way. So they toss it back into their pinky, grab it, comb the hair, then they pull it back up and cut. What I thought they were doing was tossing it back into the pinky and then swinging it back around and cutting. So there's just a little bit different motion from this, which I can't really do that well. So we push it back and then we put it back in our hand this way. And what I do is put it back into my pinky and then kick it out this way. So the unfortunate thing about that is sometimes your scissors fly open so you got to get good with it but what I'm doing is just putting it back in my pinky releasing my pinky and swinging the scissor back around into my hand so um, we're going to show that a little bit slower motion on the video so then once you put all that together the exercise that I like to do is comb put the scissor in your hand cut comb put the scissor in your hand cut and just work that so that you get quick with this motion so that this becomes uh, one with your hands so that you don't have to worry whether you're point cutting, cutting on top of your hand, or cutting palm to palm. No matter what, your scissor is always working back and forth. So I hope that got, helps you guys. If you have any other questions, please leave your comments. We'll definitely be able to answer them. Follow us, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Um, freesaloneducation.com has all kinds of free education for you guys, including cool little tricks on your scissors, dry cutting, razor cutting, color, styling, everything. So please follow us on there. Make sure you sign up for our email list and thank you guys for watching and subscribing to our channel and good luck with your scissor technique.